Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about Bellman Ford algorithm, which is used to find uh, the single source shortest path. That means a set of vertices will be given in a graph. You have to start from one single source and you have to travel towards the other vertices with the shortest distance. You have already studied one algorithm for this that is Dijkstra's algorithm, which is used to find the shortest path starting from a single source. But Bellman Ford algorithm is used to find out the shortest path when the weights are negative. Dijkstra's algorithm will work for only non-negative values. But here Bellman Ford algorithm can use negative values in this that is negative cost in this that is the main advantage of, advantage of using Bellman Ford algorithm. And uh, this is algorithm for finding out this one. So first is the initialization step where we'll be finding out the d of i is equal to d cost of v comma i. So d of i is nothing but the distance vector, distance matrix that we are or the distance vector that we are initializing with cost of v comma i value. And the next step is this is a key point this if d of i plus cost of i comma u is less than d of u you have to set d of u value as d of u is equal to d of i plus cost of i comma u. So by using these formula, we will be finding out the different uh, matrix values and we have to update the different uh, distance matrices. Then at the end, we will be getting the shortest path in this. So we'll take an example. See, in this graph, when you see it has non-negative values and it has negative values, that means we won't be able to use Dijkstra's algorithm for finding the shortest path in this. So, uh, uh, we are using the Bellman Ford algorithm for this. So, it works like this. The first value is we have to uh, write the adjacency matrix. See, that, uh, see, it has seven vertices. So, seven values will be, seven rows and seven columns will be there. And the diagonal values will be filled with the value zero. And if it has weight, we will be representing the weight. Otherwise, if there is no directed edge, we will be representing the value with the infinity value. Here, we are considering the source as one. Next, move on to the next one. So, this is a formula that you have to find out. G, D of u is equal to minimum of D of u comma minimum of D of i plus cost of i u. So, we will find out which one is minimum in this. That value will be assigned to D of u. So, for that k value is uh, varies from 2 to 6 because k is 1 here. So, we remaining all the vertices that is q, k is equal to 2, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 can be computed as like this. Okay, so in the D6, whenever we are finding D6 value, D of 6 value, we will be able to get the shortest path in this. So, we are first taking the value here, C D of 1. So, these will be the initialization part in this. D of, Z, uh, D of 1 is equal to 0, D of 2 is equal to 6, D of 3 is equal to 5, D of 4 is equal to 5, D of 5 is equal to infinity, 6 is equal to infinity, D of 7 is equal to infinity. Only because 1 is a source vertex in this. So, this is the initialization part that you have done here. Now, moving on to the next one. How we are filling the matrix? See, the, here the k value is equal to 2. k is equal to 2. So, d square, that is in the second stage, you are finding out of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. We are excluding 1 because 1 is a source vertex. Now, what we will do here is already we have uh, written the distance matrices here. So, here 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, d of 1 is value is what 0. So, 0, 6, 5, 5, infinity, infinity, infinity. You will be writing it here for you to get the values here easily. I am giving you the step. And here, 6, 5, 5, that is 2. What is d of 2? 6, 5, 5, infinity, infinity, infinity will be value. Then finding the value here. Now, what I will do is we are filling all these columns, all these boxes. How we will fill this? Here, we will fill 0 plus 6. And here, 0 plus 5. 0 plus 5, 0 plus infinity, 0 plus infinity, 0 plus infinity. Like this, we will call, we will fill the first row. Then second row, what is the value here? 6, 6 plus 0, 6 plus 0. Then 6 plus infinity, 6 plus infinity. How you got this 0, infinity, infinity, minus 1, infinity, infinity? We got from this. That is 0, infinity, infinity, minus 1, infinity, infinity. You are finding out the values from there. Now, next is what? 5. So, 5 minus 
3 2 what is 3 2 so you have here here you will be getting see 3 2 that means we are excluding the first column in this and remaining columns only so before you got 0 infinity infinity minus 1 my infinity infinity here you will be getting minus 2 0 infinity 1 infinity infinity that is the value you have found out here see minus 2 0 infinity 1 infinity infinity so this is 5 plus c of 4 2 and this is 4 3 from the adjacency matrix we will fill all this value we will calculate the value and the column wise we will be finding out what is the minimum value what is the minimum value you got here the minimum value is 5 minus 3 is 2 3 6 6 3 infinity 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 plus anything is infinity so the minimum value is 3 like that we will be finding out the column wise what is the minimum value that value we will get these value will be used in the next k value that is when k is equal to 3 when you find out the value here is what 3 3 5 5 4 infinity this is the minimum value which we got from the previous step and 0 3 3 5 5 4 infinity we are finding out here now again the same step we will follow 0 plus what is 1 2 from the matrix 6 what is 1 3 from the matrix 5 what is 1 4 5 like that all these value we will calculate the we will fill the boxes and we will calculate the values then again the same step we are following we will be finding out the minimum value in this here the minimum value is 3 minus 2 1 you got and here 5 minus 2 3 you got this minimum value this is a minimum value which we are using in the k is equal to 4 as a input see k is equal to 4 0 1 3 5 2 4 7 1 3 5 2 4 7 we got the same step we will follow here we will do that is 0 plus what is 1 2 the value will be filled with 6 1 3 5 like that all the boxes we will fill we will find out the minimum value like this this will be the input for the k is equal to 5 then k is equal to 5 again you will find out this value that will be the input to the k is equal to 6 1 3 5 0 4 3 that we will be finding out here till k is equal to 6 you have to find out the value and we will be writing out see whenever we are getting k is equal to 6 what is the value here finally we got that is the shortest distance between from uh, the st uh, starting vertex 1 to uh, the remaining vertex that means 1 to 1 is 0 k is equal to 6 is the value which got we got here that is the shortest path from 1 to 1 is 0 1 to 2 is 1 1 to 3 is 3 1 to 4 is 5 1 to 5 is 0 and 1, 1 to 4, 6 is 4 and 1 to 7 is 3. So, this is the shortest path from the single source that is single source is 1 here to all the remaining vertices this is the shortest path from the graph. So, this is a way we are finding out the single source shortest path algorithm by using the uh, negative values. So, here what all the steps we have done here we have uh, we got the graph like this. And the first step is we have to write the adjacency matrix and by using the adjacency matrix you have to find out this value for k is equal to 2 to n minus 1. So, here n is 7. So, k is equal to 2 to n minus 1 value we are finding out. The first distance matrix value is filled with the uh, row value of the source vertex. So, so, what is this row value here? 0, 6, 5, 5, infinity, infinity, infinity. That is the value you have written here. 0, 6, 5, 5, infinity, infinity, infinity. Then we will move on to the next step. So, k values start from 2. So, k is equal to 2 we are finding out. How we are finding out k is equal to 2 value that is we will be drawing the matrix again like this as a table. Then we will write all the previous distance matrix values here and here. Here this is one column less. So, we will be writing from 6, 5, 5, infinity, infinity, infinity and here we will write from 6, 0 to infinity. We will fill all the values here. This is the left hand side was the value which is taken from here and the right hand plus after plus is what is the matrix from the matrix we are finding out the value 1 to. Like that we will fill all the values and when k is equal to 6 what is the value you got that will be the shortest path from the source vertex to the remaining vertex. So, you take another example and find out uh, try to find out the table. So, uh, this clearly every step is written in this uh, video so hope you have understood the video and if you have any doubt again you can ask uh, me directly so um, that's all for today thank you